Welcome to this tutorial covering the FMC in the BAE146 for MSFS. This video will show you how to enter and fly a flight plan. If you've been using the MSFS world map for flight planning, you'll need to re-enable the FMC. This option can be found in the aircraft section and then settings on the EFB. Just tick the box next to FMS navigation. The FMC will then appear on the pedestal and we can start planning our flight. So first of all we'll tell the FMC where we're starting and where we're going. So we head over to flight plan and enter our departure and arrival airports. Today we're flying from Stansted to Cardiff. We'll now need to configure our departure from Stansted, so we're going from runway 22, we get a list of available SIDs on the left hand side, we select our SID and hit execute. We'll now head over to the departure arrivals index and select arrivals for Cardiff. We want the ILS for runway 30 and when we select that the FMC loads available stars. We select our star from a menu on the left. You can select a transition if you wish and we now hit execute to commit that to our route. With departures and arrivals configured we can now check our legs page for any discontinuities so we have one here. You can either insert any en route waypoints you have here by keying in the waypoint name and clicking the left soft key next to discontinuity. Alternatively you can select an existing waypoint and move that into the gap to fill it. Whichever option you choose, you'll then want to click through your legs page to check you have a contiguous flight plan between your departure runway and arrival. On the MCP, you'll notice that our nav frequency has automatically been tuned to the ILS at our destination. All we need to do is set the course. For runway 30 at Cardiff, this is 296. We'll now set the plane's navigation source to the FMC and hit LNAV. A reminder that at this point you should also configure your vertical autopilot modes, so enter your desired cruising altitude and hit altitude arm. After takeoff you'll enter vertical speed mode and activate the autopilot as normal. The plane will now begin to follow the flight plan you've set in the FMC. You'll see the distance to your next waypoint displayed on the HSI. The plane will automatically transition from one waypoint to the next as you see here. You can also follow flight progress on the legs page. En route you have the option to go direct to any waypoint along your route. Just hit the direct to button, select the waypoint you wish to fly direct to and execute the change. The plane will now begin to fly direct to the waypoint you've selected. And that concludes our tutorial covering the FMC. The rest of the flight is identical to my full flight tutorial which is linked in the description below. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. Please drop a like if you did and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.